Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Mysteries and Oddities video. Alright, let's go ahead and let's do another video here. This one though based on a suggestion that I saw on a website where it was listing a very nice list, 25 items uh, that are the most mysterious items yet found on Earth, or in some cases outside of Earth. So when I was looking at that list, I came across this one. It reminded me of something that I had read a couple of years back related to this, but the main reason that I picked this is because lo and behold this mystery is apparently now considered solved so whether that truly is 100% solved remains to be seen but all evidence seems to point to this mystery now finally being answered and it has to do with this you've seen this picture before those of you that are science buffs like I am it's called the wow signal very very popular signal that was encountered a couple of decades back supposedly in this case case coming from a uh, extraterrestrial signal of some kind but finally it seems like there's an answer to what it truly is and I'll mention that here in a few minutes so let's go ahead let's talk about originally the mystery associated with this wow signal so what was this thing exactly well you have to go back to 1977 to be exact so a good 40 years or so back there in Ohio State University there was a radio telescope there called the Big Ear the Big Ear radio telescope so a very uh, prompt name like very uh, interesting name because all it is is essentially one big giant uh, metaphorical ear just listening out to the sky trying to find and search any kind of extraterrestrial intelligence and in this case it would be some kind of radio broadcast or something else that that just is beaming out there and from the universe that this uh, big ear radio telescope hopefully catches and at that time there was a group that was monitoring this apparently when I was reading this information they were doing this for a good while like this was the longest running project at that time involving that particular subject of trying to find life extraterrestrial life extraterrestrial signals out there in the universe there was an astronomer there by the name of Jerry Arch, uh, Jerry R. Eman, he was the one that was part of the group as well. I don't know if he was leading it per se, or if he was just someone that was part of the group there. Either way, though, what had happened was on a very fateful day, in this case there in 1977, he was perusing the information from the printout from the um, from the bigger radio telescope. It was a little bit more antiquated back then, where all the signals, everything that was being captured by this telescope it would later print out on paper and then it would have to be examined by hand so a little bit cumbersome but still it was uh, their task like it was what they wanted to do they wanted to uh, this was their love they wanted to see if they could truly find something involving extraterrestrial intelligence now as far as like the science involved with this all the detailed technological aspects I have no idea when I was reading this information and I came across like megahertz and then uh, stuff involving uh, like signals, the way they were beamed, the way they were captured, the way it was interpreted, what these numbers showcase, I have no idea still. Like uh, this is just something I love the broader aspect of it but the technical details um, when it comes to this stuff is just a little beyond me sometimes so I won't dare try to explain that here I'm sure if um, if you're a huge uh, even stronger science buff and you wanted that info it'll be out there in the, the the internet world so be on the lookout I mean I'm sure you can find it there but on that fateful day when this guy Eamon was looking at the information in this case of course backdated by a couple days that's when he came across this I'll go back to this picture and it showcased uh, a representation, like it was an extreme difference of whatever else was being monitored at that time. So again, I don't know exactly the 100% science of it, but think of it like this way, like there was silence and then there was like a big shout almost. That's probably the best way I could explain it. And so uh, once he saw this, he was so astounded by it, that's why he circled and just, I guess, impromptu the entire set of, of of numbers and letters pertaining to this metaphorical shout and then put wow right next to it. Hence, that's why it has 
this mystery has that uh, colloquial term as the wow signal. It just happened to be just an impromptu moment, but it has become legend now because of 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 its of its impact. I mean, it does stand out. Whenever you have something involving the word wow with an exclamation point, you'll definitely have people interested in it automatically. Now, them being the skeptics, scientists, uh, they wanted to make sure that that stuff was in this case truly. Uh, something out of the ordinary so they started testing sequences I was reading more of the information it seemed like over a good course of time period they wanted to see if either a they could duplicate it B try to see if it's something truly extraterrestrial or if it could be C something more than lines of um, just a random in this case uh, natural phenomenon whether it could be something created by the stars something created by space whatever is the case again a lot more technological stuff that that could be associated with it um, so if anyone again wants to see that I'm sure it's out there but a lot of tests were done including the bandwidth time variation just basically a lot of things because they wanted to see if primarily if they could find it again if this was something that was apparently recorded over 72 seconds this wow signal and so they were trying to see if this needle in the haystack could be found again whatever these 72 seconds were uh, and then that way they could uh, see it but no it could not be replicated um, including theories about it being from planets stars as I was mentioning earlier nothing could be done even more powerful telescopes much more powerful much more sensitive in other words were pointed towards that same direction what was interesting to point out was that um apparently the telescope that was being used this bigger telescope it had two, i guess you could call it two ears like it was using it to um detect two different parts of space so but that kind of further complicated things because they were not able to i guess exactly pinpoint where this signal came from but the closest would be this near the constellation Sagittarius that's where uh, they were able to surmise this signal came from and so they were trying to focus on that and see if they could absolutely find it again but alas after years of doing so using again more sophisticated telescope much more powerful items other teams coming into play as well nothing could be found it was just simply something that remained a mystery for all this time a very uh, tantalizing mystery because again it was something where wow is this could truly be extraterrestrial like uh, somebody captured in this case a origin some radio frequency whatever is the closest thing there uh, from outer space coming from in this case some kind of extraterrestrials but cut to more recently last year to be exact there was a new theory that was proposed because apparently there was a large amount of hydrogen that was involved within the original measurement this wow signal so a new theory was proposed by a new team they came across I think it was the team uh, Center of Planetary Science is what they were called they came across a theory well what if it was involving comets because seven years after the discovery of this wow signal there was two comets that apparently go by that location again the uh, proposed origin of this wow signal and these two comets have been tracked ever since then so the theory now was let's see if these two comets they were named P hyph uh, P forward slash 2008 and then another one called 266 forward slash P whatever those mean uh, I don't know exactly the designation of those but those are the names of the comets so it was theorized let's see then if we could trace those two comets the pathway of them backwards in other words retroactively to 1977 and it was discovered that yes those comets did in fact go by the very same close area that the wow signal originated at so and that they used that then as the main hypothesis and then that's when they found that sure enough they were able to truly get once again this wow signal the very same thing 40 years later crazy stuff isn't it uh, in this case four decades but they were able to discover that this thing this wow signal originated from comets that in this case the original team back in the 70s had no idea that the comets were there because those comets were not yet discovered 
But just through the passage of time, in this case, these two comets eventually led to the answer. There were more tests that were done to try to verify it. There were even other comets that were used as another set of examples, not the same ones that I just mentioned, but others, and they produced the same results as well. So again, now everything seems to point to these two comets now being, one of them at least, being the origin of the wow signal. And, but it's just simply, um, uh, in this case, just bad luck. Because again, this team that was back in the 70s there with the Big Ear Telescope, they just wouldn't have known that those comets existed. So that's why that wow signal remains such a mystery. But kudos to that other team for, for uh, thinking, like you know, let's say, uh, we'll consider all aspects including these new comets and then lo and behold they pointed to it so but that's it that's all the info associated with this wow signal one of the rare cases it seems like of a mystery to finally being solved if anyone has any more information anything else I might have missed that's that's considered interesting please post those comments below it's a little bit of a letdown uh, because originally of course it would be much more fascinating to theorize that it could still be ET or something someone else saying hello from so far away but in this case it this it does turn out to be more along lines of a natural item so all right everybody thanks again as always take care